Elliot Miller is editor-in-chief of the Christian Research Jour Journal, and he joins me now. Hi, Elliot. Hello, Hank. You uh, have written a provocative from the editor uh, in this particular new edition of the Christian Research Journal saying no to Facebook is the title. Again, it sounds provocative for a guy who's finally uh, made it to the 21st century. You're now saying no to Facebook? Yes. Well, actually, the, the title of it is exactly what you said. It's saying no to Facebook. And I deliberately use that title because I know that, that uh, more and more people are using Facebook today, and, and uh, they are people like you and me, and, and they find like some you. benefit in it. So I, I knew I'd get their attention with that title, but, but it's a little misleading because it, it is very qualified in the sense that I'm not saying, say no to Facebook, period, never use it. It's worldly. It will drag you down. Uh, it's a snare. Stay away. No, what I'm saying is learn when to say no to Facebook. I have witnessed uh, many people develop addiction to Facebook or at least use it excessively to a point that it affects their own uh, fruitfulness in other areas of their lives. And a lot of the things that do go on on Facebook, they may or may not be harmless, but they're really uh, not very significant in terms of the kingdom of God or even in terms of planet Earth. I mean, you know, there's a lot of, you know, sort of fun but meaningless things that go on on Facebook. And it's a world, though, that once you enter into it, uh, it's open-ended. You can remain there as long as you want, you know. And, and so I quoted from some people who were literally crying out for help because they had been A students and now they're failing or they're not doing their work on the job. You know, they get up, they've got to immediately log on to Facebook. They've got to keep updating their profiles, checking for messages. And, and you know, they're stuck in that. And, and uh, although Facebook hasn't been a problem for me, I've had to develop discipline with the Internet in general because that same open-ended quality is, is there for the whole World Wide Web. You can just keep exploring things forever while more important things go undone, you know. So discipline uh, is the real issue, self-control. All things uh, are... Um, lawful for me, but not all things are profitable. All things are lawful, but I will not be brought under the power of any of them, uh, because we want our lives to count for eternity. We want to be responsible. We want to be good parents, uh, children. Um, we want to be good employees. We want to be good servants of the Lord Jesus Christ through church ministry, parachurch ministry, we want to be using our time to better ourselves through, for ministry's sake, through education. And, and uh, so when we're dealing with, with the social media, and Facebook is just the most prominent example, but there's MySpace and there's YouTube and, and uh, you know, there are so many different avenues. Uh, it, it's a whole new world for everybody. And as Douglas Grotice, who wrote our article on uh, social media for this issue, points out, um, it is it is a world that has is, is shaping and changing culture. Culture is changing right before our eyes, and we're a part of culture, and we change as well. But it's not always for the better. It's Facebook is redefining relationships, and uh, so, and and it's not really possible to have true community, uh, friendship, fellowship at the deepest levels through electronic media. As, as Grotice puts it, you need embodied relationships for these things. And so we must learn how to set limits and, and to, to it, you know, have principles and discipline for how we interact with social media and with electronic media so that we can use it for the kingdom of God, because there are many b benefits from it, both temporal and potentially eternal benefits in terms of evangelism, uh, you know, and, and uh, Christian learning. But we have got to, uh, we, we can't let the world shape our own lifestyle for us. We have got to be conscious and deliberate <clears throat> in how we use our time and, and uh, how we make use of the things of this world and not abuse it.